Good afternoon. This is Danica Weepa, Marketing Manager at RKL eSolutions. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, the session will be on Altec's ERP Document Management Solution. Altec is a Sage endorsed add-on for document management in a paperless environment. So just to be clear, the purpose of today's webinar is not to review the paperless office feature in Sage 100, but rather Altec's integrated document management and workflow solution. I apologize if you joined us thinking that you were going to get a demo of the paperless office feature, but if you are interested in learning more about paperless office, uh, let us know as we are considering this as a future webinar topic. A couple of housekeeping items. This session is being recorded. Should you want to watch or share it with others, the recording will be posted on RKL's YouTube site. Also, all lines will be muted and we will have a question and answer session after the presentation. Otherwise, you can submit a question anytime via the uh, Q&A chat feature. So today, Tiffany Campbell from Alltech will be our presenter. Much of Tiffany's career has been spent either working at SAGE or in a SAGE channel. She has a long history of working closely with SAGE partners and you, the end user, to help maximize your SAGE solution. Also, your RKL account reps are Gia Lane on the East Coast and Rachel Roselli on the West Coast. Please don't hesitate to contact them should you have any questions regarding your SAGE solution. So uh, without delay, let's get started. Go ahead, Tiffany. Okay, thank you very much. Today I thought I'd start off with just giving a little background of who Alltech is. Our company is based out of Laguna, California. We have over 2,800 customers worldwide. Uh, the company itself has been around for over 30 years. We really started out as a paper company, so if you've seen the show The Office on TV, that's exactly what we were. Uh, in around 2000, we decided to enter the document management uh, industry. And in doing so, we decided, okay, you know, the best thing to do is most of the customers we were uh, acquiring wanted to be able to integrate with their ERP. So that's exactly what we went out and did. We collaborated with companies like Microsoft, with Epicor, with Sage, to create out-of-the-box integration. And so we do have the solution, and as Danica mentioned, we can demo how this product works in any of the Sage environments for you. So if you're interested, at the end of the call, just feel free to reach out to us and we can do a personalized demo and show you how your workflows would work in your environment. So really, how do companies store documents right now? It doesn't matter how technically savvy the world has become. I would say most people I speak with are still filing in filing cabinets. They get their invoices, they get their checks, and they file them away. We also have companies that have progressed a little, and they're really kind of doing the same thing, but on network file sharing. So they've created folders with subfolders, and that's where they're storing their documents. And I'd say the real difference between the two is the fact that you don't have to leave your desktop. All the information is there for you. Uh, and then you have companies that have decided to look at software. And there is a lot of software out there, but it has limited functionality. A lot of it is an imaging system. And that's kind of where we're different. What we do and what we're providing to you is the ability to capture documents. So there are several different ways we can capture these documents and store them in our repository. We have something called ERM, which is something that, is, uh, that comes out of the box with the Sage Solutions. But we, have, we offer that, which is an, uh, enterprise report management. You can mail or fax documents into our repository. You can scan, barcode, import it, OCR. So we provide you several different ways to capture these documents and store them in our repository. Now, when we store the information, we're not just capturing the image itself. We're actually taking the data from the, the document. So we're going and indexing that information, and we're storing it as properties or fields within our repository. This gives you the ability to search off of that data. So we're storing the data. We give you the ability to search and retrieve it. You also have access. We have a mobile app, so you have access to these documents from that. And we also have a web client, so you can access documents or provide your vendors access to your documents or invoices or whatever it may be through a web portal. 
Now, in addition to that, we know that when you get a piece of paper on your desk, it usually doesn't sit on your desk. That paper has to move throughout your organization. So that's what we provide to you. We have a very configurable and scalable workflow engine that really allows you to take any department or any process within your organization paperless. So we do have the integrations that we mentioned. We have something called Smart Form Toolkits, which I'll touch on today, that allow you to um, take different departments paperless. And we have a data manager. And our data manager, what that is, is when a document comes in, we're able to look at the data on that document and determine, okay, based off of the data on this document, what workflow is it going to be part of? What process are we going to put it on? Let's say you get an invoice comes, an invoice comes in and it's over $25,000. Well, if it's over $25,000, then it needs to go to the CFO for approval. So it'll automatically do that with the data manager. We also have the ability to take all of these documents that we're storing in the repository and send them externally. Uh, and you can create new documents based off of the data that we're storing as well. So you can send documents, you can send supplemental documents, or create whole new documents like a receipt if you wanted to. So that's really the core of the core system. That's what DocLink is about. So today, the way or what we decided to do is kind of present it through the eyes of your team, kind of show you the different departments in your organization and how they would benefit from a solution like DocLink. So we'll start off in the most common area where people are experiencing paper pain. It's an AP. So when we talk to AP clerks or processors, their big concerns usually are, you know, we want to be able to provide a self-serve service document access. You know, I'm sick of having to run around and find all these documents for everyone. I'd like for them to be able to just access them themselves. Another thing that they've brought up are timely approvals. You know, I'd like to get, we hear this all the time, that they'd like to get their job done, but unfortunately, you know, that invoice has been sitting on someone's desk for two weeks and they haven't touched it and approved it. So that's something we're able to eliminate. And also just eliminating paper filing and minimizing data entry. The nice part is there is that integration with Sage, so if that's the component you want to go live with, there's no double data entry. Once that information is indexed, wherever it needs to go within the system, it's going to auto-populate for you. So instead of walking over to a filing cabinet or calling the AP clerk, everybody is going to have access to what we call our smart client. Our smart client is something that Regardless, if you have access to Sage or not, you'll have this, the capability to use the smart client. You can open it up, and right over here to the left, it's going to show you the different companies you have access to. And we'll talk about our security down uh, later in the presentation today, but you'll be able to select the company you want to be able to view the documents for. Then below, it's going to show you the different document types we're storing in the system, whether it be an invoice, a check, whatever. So you can go in here and like if I wanted to look up a certain check, I could highlight check and on the far right it's going to show me all of the properties that I'm able to search off of. If I highlight invoice, it's going to show me different properties obviously because I'm indexing and storing different information for invoices. Mm -hmm. So over here to the right, I can see what I can search off of for invoice. If I want to put in the invoice number here, it's going to go ahead and pull up that invoice for me. Very quickly, I don't have to go to a filing cabinet anywhere. It shows me that invoice. I can highlight it and open it up. Also, when we're taking those documents and storing them, we're trying to make sense of the documents for you. We're trying to say, okay, what other documents are in the system that have similar properties? So if I hover over this, it's going to tell me that I have other documents related to this document, so it's doing matching for me. So I don't have to go to the filing cabinet and look, at, look for all these different uh, documents. It's automatically matching this for me. So it's telling me I have this invoice, but I also have other documents related to this invoice because it has sim a similar PO number. So if I click there, it's going to show me, okay, the invoice itself, the PO, the PO, and it's going to show me a signed delivery receipt. I can open one up if I wanted to, and, or I can highlight all three and open up all three documents side by side. I can take these documents and with our output manager, you can email them out, or I can take these documents, pull information from it, and create a whole new document if I wanted to. So that, that definitely helps out with the AP processors. Also, for faster approvals, we give you 
Yeah, everybody has a smartphone nowadays. So what's going to happen is when you put a document onto a workflow, people are going to get it through their phone or, you know, through their email. So if they're not at their desk, they can see that they got an email that they need to go in and approve this document. We can change the verbiage on this, but this is pretty much the look and feel. It's letting them know that they have a document to open up and to approve. It is an attachment, and there's different, several different ways you can send it, but here's the tip. I can open it up and approve it or deny it from my smartphone. Now again, the, with the integration with Sage, it's going to allow you to not have to do that double data entry. Here's the invoice, we've indexed it, so you can see over here, it's automatically populated that data for me. So that's on the AP side. Now, when you talk to an accounting manager, their key concerns are visibility, managing to the exception, making better use of their staff's time, and improved accuracy. So with our solution, that's exactly what we're providing, all of those things. We're giving them better, uh, excuse me, better visibility, because within our system, there is an audit trail of everything that happens to this document. So when the document comes in, we track that. When the document is touched by someone, it's tracked. If the document is moved uh, anywhere within the workflow, it's being tracked within the system. And you can kind of see an example of that down here. Also, they can be what we consider a workflow supervisor, where they can go in and see where that document is in the workflow. Or they can change a document from one workflow to another workflow. And we'll kind of talk about um, the extent of workflows and what you can do with it and how powerful they are. So really, with the paper process, what happens usually is you print a document, you copy it, you route it manually, file it, and then you're searching for the paper itself. What happens here is we electronically capture the document, route it automatically so no one has to do anything, and then you can search for these documents via your desktop. So it definitely makes things more efficient. Now, if you talk to the CFO or controller, they, of course, are thinking big picture, decreasing costs, productivity gains, lowering days, sales outstanding, and simplifying the whole auditing process. So really, if you look at it, okay, with a solution like ours, how can you cut costs? Well, you're cutting paper, copying, and filing costs. You're eliminating off-site storage and retrieval fees. You can grow without adding headcount, and you can reallocate the time for strategic initiatives. So instead of having to go look for, you know, invoices or documents all day, AP processors can spend their time doing other things. So you can reallocate people's time. And then in regards to, you know, simplifying audits, I told you that all of this is being tracked through our system, so there's an audit trail of everything that's being done. Well, if an auditor comes in, you can give them access to the smart client. They can go in and pull the data, so they can, you know, select what they want to be able to view, go in and search for a certain date range, and all that information will be provided to them. They can take that data, export it out to Excel, or do whatever they want with the information that's being provided there for them but it's an easy way to tap and pull into all of that data. Now, outside of the AP world, or, you know, the ERP world, really what we like to say is our solution is an enterprise-wide solution. So it's not just, you know, anything that touches SAGE, it's really any department within your organization. We have our solution which makes everything well, our goal is to make everything paperless. So for other employees, an easy, uh, a lot of people mention, you know, they want to simplify the expense report submission. So again, that's something we can take care of as well with our solution. So instead of going out and buying, you know, ex uh, software for expense reporting, you have the ability with our mobile device and our mobile app to just upload your receipts once you upload the receipts into the system, you can then download them into DocLink. That information is then stored. It'll put it into expense report, uh, expense report smart forms for you, and it'll take that, those, report, or those receipts 
fill in the expense report. Then once that expense report has been viewed and approved, it will put it on a workflow. So once I look at it and say, okay, this looks good, it will then go to my supervisor so that they can approve it. And then it will go to accounting so they can cut me the check for it. So all of that can be done with the workflow. You identify what your workflow is or what you need it to do, and we configure our solution to match that, to mirror that. Now for IT, really their concerns would be, you know, they want to build on up-to-date standards, a disaster, re disaster recovery, workflow delegation, minimal support required, and strong security. So workflow delegation, we talked about being able to create workflows within the system. And you can easily say, okay, this workflow is owned by this person, and these are the people on that workflow. So all of that is done through our workflow supervisor here. We also have what we call our workflow configurator. I talked about us being able to take any process within your organization paperless. What we will do is we'll work with you to define that process. And usually what we do is we have a discovery call. If you guys are interested, please feel free to reach out. The discovery call usually takes about 45 minutes. We'll work with you, try to figure out what your pain points are, what areas in your organization that you want to go paperless, and we'll create these Visio flowcharts, really, and we'll outline your process. And then what we do is we take those and put them in our workflow configurator. And if you look, the workflow look configurator has the same look and feel as Visio. You can go in and define what your workflow is. These are very scalable. When we talk about our solution, we don't like to use the word customizable. Because when you think of customizable, you think of, you know, hard coding and a lot of dollar signs at the end of it. With configurable, you have the ability to go in. When you go live with our solution, we will create your workflows for you. But we're going to train you on how to use this tool so that way you can go in and make, modify your changes. We understand processes don't stay the same. People don't stay in the same roles all the time. So you might need to, go, need to go in and make modifications. With our workflow configurator, we make it very easy to be able to do so. And, you know, this is something that, yes, IT likes, but maybe they're not necessarily the people who are going to be making these changes. You don't have to be that technically savvy to be able to manage this. You can, you know, be in accounting and be the person who's been designated to manage the accounting workflow. You can be in HR and be the person designated to manage the human resources workflow. So you'll be trained on how to do this. You'll be trained on how to make the modifications to it. And they can be simple workflows, like right here is a requisition workflow. There's just a couple stage steps to it. Here's an example of an AP workflow where there's multiple levels of approval, depending upon who approves it, uh, you know, different things happen. So again, it can do whatever you need it to do. We just need to define those steps, create those business roles within the solution, and then you have an automated paperless system. So another thing that's nice about the solution is if there is user-based security. So that's something that IT always wants to see or is concerned about. You know, if I am in HR and I'm utilizing it, I don't want every employee to see every employee's, you know, paperwork. That employee will only see theirs through the portal. So we can set that up. You can set it up by company, document type, property values. You define the security, and we have the capability to set that up or mirror that within our solution. Now, to go over to sales, Sales concerns would be expediting the sales process and management, managing all of the different documents that come in. You know, the sales order, the contracts, SLAs, whatever they may be, we want a place to be able to store all that information, easily have access to it. You know, if I didn't want to leave CRM to view those documents, I, you know, don't have to. If I don't want to leave Stage to view those documents or, you know, Stage 100 or whichever ERP, and ERP you're in, you don't have to. But if you're not a user of those systems and you want to see the documents, you can jump into the smart client and look at those documents. So we give you that capability with our solution. We also have an automatic uh, email import system using our import manager, which makes it very easy. If you get documents through email, you can just click and drag those documents into DocLink. So here are my documents. 
I can click, drag them, and now those documents are being stored within my repository. I have that same capability for my mobile app. If I get a document there, I can just click on it, and I can choose to open it in my DocLink mobile, and it'll be saved there. So easy ways to take documents and save them in the repository so that you can view them. And again, all these documents that are being put into the repository, we're indexing those documents and we're also able to put those documents onto workflows. So again, if I put a quote in the system and I automatically want the quote to go over to, you know, a sales engineer so he can create an SOW, I can easily do that with the workflow process. So that's how we impact the different roles within your organization, or that's how we can help modify and make things more efficient. But there are areas where, or certain industries, where going paperless has really been, uh, they've really been benefited by it. And one would be manufacturing. If you think about manufacturing, there's a lot of paper and a lot of process involved. Purchase orders, delivery receipts, traveler, lot tracking, all of that we have the capability to take those processes and put them on our workflow and track all of those. In saying that, we also have version control. So we give you the capability to be able to, you know, check in documents, check out documents, and control them and view that information. You can see who checked it in, who checked it out, when they did it, what was done to it. So any contracts passed between facilities or offices, Anything like that, we're able to track that with the version control. Distribution is another industry as well, or another area where there's a lot of paperwork involved. So these are areas where we already have defined processes, or usually, you know, someone wanting to utilize DocLink for those purposes can quickly get up and running with our solution because we have so many people in distribution or in manufacturing or in build services utilizing our solution. Again, we open it up, not everybody has the same process, but we're able to easily tweak that. So tracking support documents, quick, quick access to documents, the self-service via web and smart client, and then creation of shipping or invoice packets are all handled within our solution. So I talked about earlier, you, when you purchase our solution, you're going to have our repository, which is a server-based solution, You'll have a LAN client, and then we also have a web client. So we understand, you know, you some people are remote or you have vendors that just want to be able to quickly go in and view invoices. So if you wanted to set this up, create, you know, a, a web portal for your vendors, you can easily do that with the web client. Uh, and then you can control their security, obviously. You don't want them to see you don't want them to see everybody else's invoices, you just want them to be able to see theirs. Again, that's something we can set up. So I talked about build services uh, a, mo a moment ago. We can help you better communicate with different teams, expedite the whole billing process and compliant requirements. Definitely can be touched on with our solution. And an easy, uh, our, an easy way to do that is through our mobile device. So you can see here, you can download the app onto your, mo onto your, your phone, and then you can go in, you can put documents bring documents into the system, assign them to different workflow. Everything really you can do from the LAN client, you can pretty much do from the mobile app as well. So I can go in and see the different documents in the system. If I wanted to make notes to the documents, I have the capability to. If I want to take that document and put it onto a workflow, I have that capability as well. So this, uh, that's the whole build services area. So just to give you a, just an overview of everything, again, with DocLink, it is an enterprise-wide solution. We can definitely come in and integrate with any of the Sage applications, but we can also integrate with homegrown solutions, with Word, with really any application out there. We have the capability to capture your documents, we give you the capability to access and share this information easily. We give you the capability to put these documents on workflows, and the workflows are configurable, as I mentioned earlier. So we'll figure out what your process is, we'll create that workflow, and then we give you the ability to take this information and send it and share it externally if you needed to. 
So what we'd really like to do is work with you guys, figure out what your processes are, and create these workflows with you. What we usually do is the discovery call. We'll figure out what your, your big pains are. Then we'll work with you to create these workflows. And then usually during the second demo, we do a proof of concept. We don't believe in smoke and mirrors. We want to show you your workflow in your environment. So if you're using Sage 100, let us know. We'll figure out what your processes are, and then we'll show you your workflow and how it would be much more efficient in Sage 100 with Doclink. So really, that's kind of what we wanted to present today. I'm going to open it up or have Danica open it up to see if there's any questions that we might have them online right now. Okay, all lines have been unmuted. Are there any questions? Okay, I see one coming in from the uh, Q&A chat. Tiffany, how is this priced? Okay, that's a great question. We do have our core solution. So you'll buy DocLink, it'll come with certain modules. And then the way we really price it out is based off of your users. So with our core solution, we come with five users. Those are concurrent users, so there's usually a one to, to five ratio that of people who can be on at the same time. Um, so you would just let us know how many users you have, how many, and we have different types of users. We have the integrated users, so the people who will be utilizing the solution within Sage. We have our non-integrated users. So the non-integrated users would be people like approvers. We know, you know, not all CFOs or not all of your executives or approvers of the workflow are going to be in, you know, Sage during uh, the day. So those would be our non-integrated users. And then we have our repository users, people who don't need to be in either, and they just need to be able to go in and view the information. So you would just let us know how many users you have, what type of users, and then we can easily create a quote for you. So if you're interested, please feel free to reach out. We'll define your workflows. We'll figure out how many users you have. We'll give you a preliminary quote, and then we'll go from there. Any other questions? Okay, another one just came in through the chat. Can I see a demo of it, of this product within my ERP? Yes, and as I just mentioned, that's something we definitely can do. Feel free to contact us. We, you can contact RKL and they'll get, us in they'll get you in touch with me. We'll do that discovery call. We'll figure out what your process is. It usually takes about 45 minutes. Then from there, we'll create your workflow in your environment and we'll present that to you. When we do that, we usually provide a preliminary quote too, so you have an idea of what you need a budget for a solution like DocLink. Any other questions? Right. Okay, well, thank you for joining us today. Uh, thank you, Tiffany. There will be a replay available on RKL's YouTube site if you're interested in that. Um, otherwise, we look forward to seeing you again on a future webinar. And thanks, thank and have a great day. Much. Bye.